And we are live. This is April 5th, 2024. The Powerball jackpot in the United States as we speak is a massive $1.3 billion. That's billion with a B. Amazing. Where are you watching from around the world? Let me know. I know the people who are playing Euro Millions, Euro Jackpot, Mega Cena, Lotto Max, lotteries all over the world. Are you playing the lottery? If so, which one or which lotteries do you play? Where are you? Let me know in the comments of this live chat. This is an impromptu live chat. And if this is no longer live, put it in the comments below this video. Let YouTube know that you are watching we want to see it we want to see it right now here we go bring it up hi tim hi diana hello master manifestor mindset hello st louis missouri is here if we can pull that up pull that up show this yes 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 and there's another st louis missouri oh my gosh so in st louis are you going to be are you in it to win it? This Powerball jackpot is massive, is massive. Sam Johnson says, I think there's a good chance it's going to go up to $2.2 billion. That's amazing. And if it does, we're definitely going to have a fun chat about it, says Sam Johnson. Sam, we definitely are if it does. And that's right. November of 2022, someone named, well, not someone named, his name is Edwin Castro. Mr. Edwin Castro in the state of California won $2.2 billion jackpot that was the largest ever on planet earth that just happened not too long ago and i hope to get him on this podcast because of course one of the things we do here is interview other lottery winners that happened to me it's my life story but it happens to people all the time and uh, that's one of the things we do here so if you're new to this channel and Sorrel Fraser, who is a member of this channel. Sorrel, thank you so much for being a member. Thank you so much for your support. And she also is a lottery winner. She won a postcode, the postcode lottery. And she says, looking forward to this upcoming new moon eclipse energy. Absolutely, Sorrel. The eclipse is coming. It is coming. This coming Monday, I believe. It's incredible what, what happens with that. I mean, it's just really, really rare. It's phenomenal, and I cannot wait for it. Sorrel Fraser, thank you so much for your support. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are doing well. And hello in Los Angeles. Amy Lehman, hello in Los Angeles. I'm going to win, Tim, and it will be, and I will be on the show. And after I move into my new mansion, Joey Bofa has a plan. I love that plan. Amazing. Tonight is the night that I win. Leisha, Leisha, which lottery are you playing tonight? There's a lot of them happening tonight. The Powerball is happening tomorrow night. But, well, you know, there's also Powerball in Australia. And there's Mega Millions, which is happening tonight. There's Euro. I mean, there's all kinds of games all over the world. Incredible. Hello in Romania. Gabor, hello, hello. Lots of luck for everyone. I love that. New Jersey's in it to win it. Cora. Amazing. Someone in New Jersey just won uh, in March a 1.13 billion Mega Millions prize in New Jersey. So, Cora, the luck is in the air in New Jersey. Hello in, in Romania. Mega. Amazing. Okay. Spain, David G. Now, we are going to take a look at this because that's the one of the things we're going to take a look at here, this Powerball prize, because this is, this is massive. And the Powerball and the major jackpots in the United States are going up and up and up. Bring this up. I think this, yeah, this, here we go. It's coming, it's coming. Get it a little larger there. There we go. There you see, 1.3 billion with a B, cash option, 6.089 million. That means in the United States, you have the option of taking half right away, lump sum, which is 6.089 million before taxes. That's an insane amount of money. What would you do with that? And would you try to, would you try to invest that, grow that into a billion? Or would you take the annuity, 1.3 billion? And one of the reasons why these jackpots get so high is that the interest rates are crazy high. 
I mean, they're not crazy high, but they're pretty high. And that's one of the reasons why they're getting. And I just realized I keep rhyming. High, why, bye. We're not saying bye, though. We're in it to win it. Oh, here's someone that's in it to win it. Paula Diamond. Paula Diamond's in it to win it. Amazing. All right. So what would you do? What will you do if and when you win? Hello in Chicago. Hello in Chicago, the Windy City. Here's another member of this channel, which I am so incredibly grateful for every single member of this channel, because this is a labor of love. And you guys, by showing your support to what I'm doing here, just means the world to me. It really, really, truly does. And I'm so grateful, Sheila, for your support, for being a member of this channel. Uh, so Sheila says, four of my lotto numbers came up last drawing in Powerball. They were in different roles. I'm going to still play with those numbers and others. Wow. Well, four of them came up. That's amazing. Congratulations. And yeah, when you play with certain numbers and they come up, that reminds me. Well, I'm going to get to this. There's this lottery news story of this woman that just dreamt of these numbers and she won two days later. It was just announced a couple of days ago. We're going to pull up that story in a second. But Sheila LR, thank you so much for being a member and thank you for your comment and congratulations on getting four numbers. Anything is possible. And Rafaela Tarkana, I might not be pronouncing that right, but 199 Super, you are too kind. You are too kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are too kind. It's very generous of you. Thank you for the super. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you very much for your support. I just watched the Jubilee video, Roblox Guardian. Amazing. I'm glad that you saw that. Yeah, I do a number of, I've done a number of interviews and participated in different shows, and Jubilee is one of them. I'm so glad you saw that. Thanks so much. Uh, let's get Mario. I would invest some, give some, spend some, and <laughs> disappear. Mario, well, I hope that you disappear when you disappear, that one of those places is to disappear onto this podcast as anonymously, because we will keep you anonymous. We'll blur your face. We'll disguise your voice. There's a woman who just won 20 million in Australia Powerball who thought she had only won 20,000. Gary Stinton. That's incredible. <laughs> That's incredible. Well, how shocking winning the lottery is shocking anyway. It's one of the most surreal, euphoric, crazy things that can possibly happen. And so it feels like a dream. So to think you're winning 20,000 and to actually win 20 million, I imagine really shook that person's world up because that would be crazy. Thank you for your comment, Gary. I'm winning tonight, Lotto Max in Canada. I will be your next guest, MQ. MQ, we will keep the microphone ready for you. I wish you so much luck in Canada. I love interviewing lottery winners in Canada. I've interviewed a few. I'm going to be interviewing more. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Love your, love your channel. So inspiring. Diana Paredes, thank you so much for being a member of this channel. I am so grateful for your support. And I'm so happy that you find inspiration in this channel. It means a lot. It really, really does. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, okay. Let's see here. I won the Classic Lottery and Powerball this Saturday. CC, congratulations to you. Play responsibly if you, if you play the lottery, but anything's possible. Anything is possible. Hey, Tim, Manuel Franco, Edwin Castro, and Bucky Bartlett as guests for the win. Bud, Gary Stenton, thank you for the guest suggestions. I love every single one of those. I'm familiar with all of their stories. They're all amazing. And I absolutely would love to host them. And I believe, I, it's more than believe, I know it's possible. So hopefully that happens sooner than later. Thank you very much for the suggestion. They, they all three of them have very intriguing stories. Joey Clark with the generous 499 pounds. Super best of luck for tomorrow's Powerball. Everyone, Joey Clark. Well, let's wish Joey Clark the best of luck collectively. All of us here in this chat right now, let's wish Joey Clark the best of luck because that is very generous of you. The 499 pounds. Super. Thank you very much. I wish you so much luck, Joey. Thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it. Castro, okay, where did that go? 
Castro has said more than once that he regrets taking all the money up front. Weird. Where did he say that? Because I haven't seen any interviews with Edwin Castro. So I'm not, I'm wondering where you saw that. Let me know. I caught a live Simone Smith. You did Simone. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to this, to this live real. That's weird. What is real? What is real? I am the lottery jackpot winner. It's God's plan. Well, we heard it here first, but this isn't going to be the last place we hear it. If that's true. And it is anything's possible. Anything's possible. Best of luck, everyone. Catherine Tracy, Catherine, thank you so much. Earthquakes, solar eclipse. I better play the lotto. Martin Gale. That's crazy. What is happening, guys? What is happening? There was an earthquake today in the Northeast United States. An earthquake. There's an eclipse on its way. I mean, big things are happening to this planet Earth here that we are on. Brian with Brian. Okay. Timothy, I love the live streams. After I win the Powerball jackpot tonight, I will come on your channel. Brian, amazing. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much. I wish you so much luck. And if you're playing the Powerball in the United States, that drawing is tomorrow. But regardless, we will keep the seat warm for you. Can't wait to have a bunch of fun with you and throw money at the strip club. Let's get loose, Tim. Money making Duke. Oh my gosh. Money making Duke is always throwing the curveballs into this chat. <laughs> it's Nice to see you today. Tinkerbell, do you do you need to set up a trust or is it optional? Tinkerbell, it's definitely optional. A lot of lottery winners do that. And I'm definitely going to be getting some attorneys and people that work behind the scenes with lottery winners. Of course, I have my own experience, but to speak with people that deal with countless lottery winners. In fact, I just spoke with someone this morning that does that. And that will be an excellent question that I will ask that person. So thank you very much. But I do know that it's not required. It's just something that is um, beneficial in certain situations. Eva Cotton with the generous 499. Super Eva Cotton. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is so nice of you. Thank you very much. Who says, I am a winner. Can't wait to do an interview with you. Eva Thank you very much. I wish you so much luck, so much positive energy to you and blessings to you. Thank you very much. And I can't wait for that interview too. Kristen Klein, I've been seeing 444 everywhere lately. I know my lottery win is coming. Kristen, Kristen, I love that. Thank you very much for your comment. Hey, anything's possible. And that reminds me of this story that I'm going to pull up here. This just happened. This woman dreamt 4444. She dreamt this. You can't even make this stuff up. It happens all the time, all the time. And where, because, you know, many people know that I had a dream about winning the lottery shortly before it happened. So it was very surreal when it did. I meet and interview other people who have similar experiences. It doesn't happen to everybody, but that they have a dream about it or have experiences like that, but quite a few people do. And I find it very interesting. So let's take a look at this story here. This just happened. Where's this? Pull this up. Okay. So this woman, this is the Virginia lottery. This was just announced, I think a day or two ago, Carolyn Keffer, pull this up. If we can do this, Carolyn Keffer, who just scored a jackpot of $125,000. There it is. February 29th it was the date of this check is dated. She won $125,000, but she had a dream two days before the win that she of quad fours, which means four fours, four number fours. She had a dream two days before she won on, I believe, February 20th. So she dreamt about these numbers. She played them. Two days later, she won 125000 I mean, <laughs> you might think that's coincidence or you might think it's not. But I, regardless, I think it's very interesting because that stuff happens all the time. So let me know in the comments or in this live chat what you think of that. AC469, what's 444 mean? What does it mean spiritually? I don't know. Kristen Klein, I've 444. Okay. 
I love watching your channel. Well, thank you so much, Anna. I'm so glad to hear that. I really am truly, this is like, uh, you know, I, I just, I am passionate about this. Tessie and I'm, Tessie says, thank you, Timothy, for rising, oh, ra raising our vibration today. Tessie, thank you very much. Thank you for joining the live. I keep having dreams of winning, but it's always a million or two million. I'm living in the end to create the feeling. Tori, thank you for your comment, Tori. What would you guys do? What will you do if you win this? If you're playing this massive jackpot for Powerball, which is over a billion, what will you do if you win? Let me know in the comments. And even if you're not, if you're playing a different game, Lotto Max, Euro Millions, Malate in Mexico, whatever you're playing, what will you do? Because it's totally possible. Bean Sprout. I had a dream that I won the lottery, a lottery recently. Bean Sprout. That is a bean sprout that a lot of people would like to climb. And it's totally possible. Some people might call you, you know, I've heard people call people delusional for dreaming about winning the book dreaming about winning the lottery or achieving certain things in life. And you're only a delusional until it happens. And then you're not delusional because, you know, <laughs> that's the way it works. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. But play responsibly if you play. My favorite TV show is one where lottery winners look for homes with their new money. Lottery change, my, or that's uh, my lottery dream home on HGTV. Yeah, it's a very popular show. And... I've interviewed a few people, a few different lottery winners who have appeared on that show, and I'm going to be interviewing more. Thank you for your comment. Diana Paredes, that's amazing. Diana, thank you so much for your comment and for being a member again. It's always great to see you. And it was the same thing for you, Sheila. Same thing for you. I'm going to say this. Adam Arid, what are you going to say? Love you all. Adam, throwing out the positive love energy. I love that. Thanks for the good vibes. Yes, it's all about the good vibes. And lottery weather map message above Tim. Thanks, mate. Gary Stenton. I love that. And we are going, I am looking into that. We're going to get a green screen, at least for one episode, at least for one video, maybe more. Get a green screen and have the different lotteries around the world and sort of do like a meteorologist does with the weather with the lottery. We're going to see how that goes. Because it's it's interesting. Deb White. Hi, Tim. Got my Powerball ticket for tomorrow night. Do you have yours? I have not, <laughs> Deb White. I have not played, but I, I will. Maybe. Maybe. It just depends if something inspires me. I believe, you know, many of you know I'm into, like, I believe if I have a dream about it or something, or if I something inspires me to play, I'll play. I don't always play, though. In fact, I don't often play, but I will. I will if you think I should. She dreamed those numbers and played them. That's amazing. Sheila L.R. It is amazing when that happens. Open mental health clinics. So I love that plan. Do you prefer, do you prefer cash lump? Do you prefer lump sum or annuity for the next 29 years? PNM. That's interesting because I just spoke with someone this morning who helps lottery winners. That's pretty much all this person. Well, not the only thing this person does, but. It's one of the main things. And uh, when I won, I was 21. <laughs> and so I was fairly, you know, younger. And so some people seem to think that when you win at such a young age, that it's in your best interest to take the annuity, that that would be the best interest. I interviewed someone that won 45 million, I believe, in New York, who took the annuity as well. And he was happy with that decision. Do I prefer cash, lump sum, or annuity? I think in most situations, the lump sum, because you can grow it much quicker through investments than the very conservative annuity. But every situation is different. If you want to, I mean, the annuity is certainly less risky. And if it's tons of money, in this case, uh, over a billion annuitized, then that's a lot of money. I don't think there's anything wrong with choosing the annuity if that's what you want to do. Catherine Tracy, I dreamed of winning the lottery and now just waiting for divine timing. Catherine, I love that. I love that. I wish you good luck. Patty says lump. Raffaele, Raff, 
Rafalia, I am not pronouncing that correctly, but yes, lump sum depends on the age too. I went, oh, Neon the Phoenix is here. Hello, Neon the Phoenix. I went to the lottery office and took a picture in advance, having it all. Neon the Phoenix, I love that. I interviewed someone, I think a couple people that have won lottery prizes that before they won, they actually went to the lottery office and people that were into manifestation and that sort of thing. And they took video and pictures. And then they, when I interviewed them, I mean, they won, but they had it all visualized in their head. So I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Tessie T, when I win, I will go for a safari, then to the beach. Well, that's a nice plan. I would donate half or create charity for struggling senior citizens. That's also an excellent plan. Your last post posted interview was pretty interesting. Thanks for sharing. Emmanuel Davis, thank you for your kind words. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you enjoyed that interview uh, with someone who won a Mr. Beast. It was with Alex who won a Mr. Beast challenge. He stayed in a grocery store for 45 days for a Mr. Beast video. He got paid $10,000 a day to stay in the store, but they ended up, they cut off the electricity and there were some other challenges involved. He had to sell back $10,000 versus $10,000 worth of product to Mr. Beast every day. And they cut off the electricity. He was cut off from society. He had plenty of food, but, uh, you know, no internet, anything like that. But it was interesting. Is a very the videos received over 250 million views the last time I looked. The um, Mr. Beast video. So he's the most popular YouTuber in the world. But I got to talk to him about what goes on behind the scenes. So if you haven't watched that, you want to check it out. St Starlet Train Hines. I think you should play the Powerball. It would be an amazing story if you won the lottery twice. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I just might do that if. Because of that, hey, anything's possible. Some people have won it twice, and it is possible. So maybe I should. If you think I should, I will. Tori, thank you very much for your comment. Tori, I always take the annuity and invest it. And I just want to say one more thing about that. I am planning to interview myself at some point on this channel. So watch for that. Tori, always take the annuity and invest it and you'll make more. But if you don't trust investors, take the annuity, especially if it's paying over a million each year and increasing. Okay, Tori, thank you for thank you for your comment. I dreamt I won the lottery this morning. 54 million pounds. VJ, that is an amazing, an amazing dream, which reminds me, I have an interview coming out in just a few days, probably next week, with a dream expert. She is a certified hypnotherapist, and she speaks about the power of uh, the truth about our subconscious mind from the perspective of a hypnotherapist, and she's authored several, several books. So it's very interesting if you're into dreams and that sort of thing. So dreaming about the lottery, dreaming you've won 54 million pounds is incredible. Thank you for your comment. Man, a lot of folks seem to have had dreams of winning. It always is. Well, it's, I mean, I did, and then it happened. <laughs> I've interviewed other people that have won after having dreams about it. It does happen, as crazy as it sounds. Timothy, do you think the lottery jackpots in the U.S. are sort of false advertising? That's a good question. That's an excellent question. And I have heard this from people that get upset because, and first of all, I don't work for the lottery. Obviously, I'm not affiliated with any lotteries, but the jackpots in the United States, when you see the annuitized amount, so for example, today, it's this massive, unbelievably high, staggering prize of $1.3 billion. That is so much money. You see that and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to buy a ticket. And the lump sum... If you were to take half right away, which most lottery winners do, is what? It's, I mean, we just had it up a few minutes ago, but it's, yeah, 6.608, almost $609 million, which is still a lot of money. But you're asking about whether it's false advertising to see that. And I, I mean, I don't think it's false advertising because I understand it, but some people might just think that that's, but it is. You could take the annuity and that could be what you get before taxes. So 
I guess my answer is I don't think it's false advertising, but some people do. I guess I understand both sides of it. But I, I mean, I understand it. If you look into it, you'll understand. I mean, it even says on the website what the cash option is, but it's interesting. I enjoy your channel. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your support. And there's so many reasons why these jackpots are getting so high, which we spoke about interest rates earlier, which is one of the reasons. Matthew Barnes, hello, Tim. Got my winning Powerball ticket. Matthew Barnes, hello to you. I wish you so much luck, Matthew. It's great to see you. Uh, giving to a good cause, creating some for employment. Okay. I love that. Thank you guys for putting what you will do if and when you win the lottery, because it is always possible. It is always possible. And it's one of the fun things about playing the lottery, I think, is that you get to dream about what you'll do because that dream could become a sudden and shocking reality. Anything's possible. Coco, in Canada, someone finally claimed the $64 million ticket from last year with only 19 days left before exp expiring. It was sitting on his nightstand for 347 days. Good Lord. Oh, my gosh. $64 million ticket with 19 days left before it expired. That's crazy. That's really that's really going down to the last minute. Did you know there are like billions worth of prizes that go unclaimed every year? Billions. And that's that or over a billion. I know that's true. Carol, to grief. I find that amazing. If you have it in your mind, then it comes true. Yeah, I think you're speaking of the dreams and the the subconscious that we were talking about earlier. Definitely into manifestation. Miss show me the money. I love it. Thank you for your comment. I will create a family office, 30% into real estate, rest into international index funds, and keep a few million for a house for a family. Kush, you. I love that. I love that. Michael T., I love that Mr. Beast video as well. Michael, I'm so glad that you enjoyed that interview. If you guys have not watched that, it was the last interview posted on this channel. It was with someone who won... Um, or he was in a Mr. Beast video, who's the most popular YouTuber in the world, who has these elaborate uh, videos. And he was in this video and won nearly a half a million, or he came, walked away with nearly a half a million. Mario, I've had dreams of winning the lottery, angel numbers and lottery numbers. It's coming. Mario, I love that. I'd love to hear what your dreams are too. B Simba. My favorite podcast. Thanks, Tim, for educating us all. I know when I win, I will I will be ready to go. Thanks to Cynthia and Daniel. Well, I'm so glad to hear that, B. Simba. Thank you very much for your comments and kind words. And I think you mean Daniel Howard, who is very much into, well, I think he's the only Daniel I've interviewed. So he, Daniel Howard, won one million pounds from Euro Millions. He wrote out a check to himself for 1 million pounds, said he was going to win by a certain date. He believes and practiced manifestation, and then he won by that date for a million pounds. It's pretty amazing. And Cynthia, you might need Cynthia Stafford or uh, Cynthia Hicks. I interviewed two Cynthias, but both were very inspiring people. So thank you very much for your comments, and I wish you good luck. You're always bringing up brilliant content. Michael T., thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate that. Robert, I'm next on Lotto Max 70 million. Well, awesome. 70 million. That's pretty high for Lotto Max. That, and that's tax free in Canada. If you win the lottery in Canada and you win the Lotto Max, I interviewed Randy Rush a couple of times who won 50 million and it was tax free. It's amazing. It's amazing. Lotto Max, Lotto 649 in Canada. Alicia, I live in some area. Oh, the same area as Mr. Beast. I still hope to see him in Walmart. Wow. Well, you could. You never know. Suede Knight. Good Sir Timothy. How does it feel to be talking to so many future lottery winners right now? Suede Knight. It feels amazing, Suede Knight. I love it. I love it so much. Did you guys watch the interview with Talia? It came out a few weeks ago on this channel because she was inspired. She's the first person thus far that I've interviewed that has won the lottery from being inspired by this channel. So if you have not watched that, check that out. Because I know there's going to be more, but it's amazing. 
and I wish you good luck and I appreciate your support. AC469, I will be here if I win for you to interview me. All right. I look forward to that. I look forward to that. Phoenix, Arizona, the next billionaire, John Bosco. John, I love, I love that, John. It is so unbelievably high, this jackpot tonight for the Powerball. I mean, 1.3 billion. If nobody wins it tonight, what do you guys think? What are the odds of this jackpot exceeding the world record of 2.2 billion? Because that's always possible. It's a few drawings away if no one wins. Or someone could win this week. Like That's possible too. What do you guys think? If you're holding a ticket, you're probably <laughs> thinking you have the, I mean, you are probably already have the answer, but opulent LD TV, my huge lottery jackpot win is here now. No luck needed. I love that attitude. You are in it to win it. Okay. And let's, uh, all right. Squalagall. Oh my gosh. Here. I'm a future jackpot winner. Sheila L art. Thank you very much. For the generous super. Thank you very much, Sheila. You are too kind. Thank you very much. This is very generous of you. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. And I wish you so much luck. I wish you so much luck. And I look forward to you coming onto this channel when that future comes to be. Anything is possible. I manifest. Thank you very much. I manifest for four years to win, but I never win. What's your advice? Cuckoo. Well, my advice is to, if it's not fun to play, then if it hurts you financially to play, then definitely don't play. So, you know, definitely don't play unless you can afford to lose. But also know and remember that you actually do have a chance when you play and have fun with it. It should be something fun. And I guess that's would be, that's my advice. So... Yeah, have fun with it. Have fun with it. If it's not fun, you don't need to play. You know, save your money. But it is possible. And if you know that, then if you believe that and it is fun, then I there's nothing wrong with playing either. I believe seven people this chat are about to win super big this month. I love that, Squalagall. Thank you very much. Tomorrow is my day, brother. I won $1.3 billion Powerball jackpot. Looking forward to our interview together, my friend, Sean Merchant. Absolutely, my friend. Absolutely. It is possible, Sean. I yeah, Absolutely. Hey, Tim, question. I thought the lottery increased after each drawing. Buffalo Blanco. Well, it does. It, I mean, it does up to, in certain countries, in certain places, it goes up to a cap and then it stops. In the United States, it keeps going up and up until somebody wins the jackpot and then it resets. But that's a good question. Thank you, Jessica. I've been tuning in for a couple of years now and I love this. I can't wait to win and be on your channel. Jessica, thank you very much. I'm so glad that you, you're a veteran. You've been here for two years. Thank you very much and welcome back. Thanks for your support. And I can't wait for that either. Thank you very much. If I win the Powerball, I'm going to write a book titled Rags to Riches. Deb White. I love that. There are many lottery winners who have written books. In fact, I'm working on one as we speak. And I've interviewed other lottery winners that have books as well, including Randy Rush, who we mentioned earlier. But he... he um wrote a book. It's a, it's a very good book too. If you guys are into that, Randy Rush, you guys should look it up or watch the interviews. I've interviewed him twice. I saw that and loved that. She said she listened to overnight affirmations. So I think you mean Talia who won, who very much believes in manifestation and won the lottery. I interviewed her uh, a few weeks ago. I think that's who you mean, but thank you for your comment. Neon the Phoenix, 149 super sticker. Neon the Phoenix, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's so nice.
billion and my picture blows up. But here we are. We're back. Okay. 1.3 billion is not enough to, to get me off of here. We're back here right now talking about it. when is your book going to get published? Been years watching you and you've mentioned you are writing in your early videos. Thank you for your question. Uh, so, yeah, I took a pause on the book for a while to focus on this YouTube channel and this podcast. So that is that is what happened. And the video got cut off the no video. Yes, Diana, it did. I'm sorry about that. That was a technical difficulty. That's what happens with this lottery fever when the I guess the jackpot's just getting so high. There's earthquakes happening all over the place. There's an eclipse coming, and then the feed drops off. It's crazy. Production Shikara. Timothy, do you think a jackpot will ever hit high enough for the winner to become a billionaire after taxes? I think that would need to be 3.3 for the lump sum and taxes. That's an excellent question. I have not done the math on that. Uh, so that could be correct. I have not done the math, but I can say that... Do I think it ever will? Yes, I absolutely think that it will. I don't know if that will happen anytime soon, but I do believe um, that it will happen. So thank you very much for your question. One day, the Powerball and Mega Millions will hit the 3 billion jackpot mark. Mario, see there, Mario called it. I think that's what we were just talking about. I think that's true. Do you have any luxury or sports cars or any luxury items? AC 469. That's a good question. I'm not super into material possessions. I've had nice cars and stuff, but I'm not like one thing I learned after winning the lottery. Well, I actually believed this beforehand, which is probably the thing. If you win the lottery for a lot of people, it magnifies your personality. It doesn't necessarily make you a different person. And for me, I've never been super into material possessions because I don't find that they make me significantly happier unless I get to like share them with, you know, do something with somebody else. Then that's a little different, but, but, uh, so, oh my gosh. So Lizia loyal with a $5 super sticker. Thank you very much. Blessings to you. Thank you so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. And I wish you so much luck. Thank you very much for your support. It really means a lot. Thank you. I will win the Missouri lottery jackpot and then I'll come on your show. Miss show me the money. Amazing. I love that. Thank you very much. Uh, I will soon, I will, can I got to get going in a couple minutes, but I just wanted to jump on this, this live chat because this jackpot is crazy today and see what you guys think of this. If you're playing the Powerball in the United States, but whether you're playing that or you're playing another lottery around the world, like, what will you do if you win? Let me know in this chat. That's what we're talking about today. I will soon win the Euro jackpot and hit you up for an interview. Jay Smith. All right, Jay Smith. It's totally possible. And I'm going to start going on location to interview lottery winners as well. So it's quite possible that I could come to Europe and the or the UK. Do you think it's better to go to a store that has been known to sell winning lottery tickets? Diana Paredes. That's an excellent question, Diana. First of all, thank you for being a member of this channel. Second of all, some people have won that way, which I find astonishing when people go back and a second major lottery jackpot from the same location happens. It does happen sometimes. I would go where it feels best to you. That's what I would do. I don't think it's necessarily about the location as much as it is. I mean, if you're into, if some people think it's just mere coincidence, but if you think that it is more, which I do in a lot of cases, then, you know, I think it's where it feels best, how it feels best to you. Cindy, I'm winning tonight, ready to be interviewed by you. All right, Cindy. Amazing. I look forward to that, Cindy, and, and I wish you good luck. I'm a jackpot winner for sure. Had a dream when I go when I win, I'm going to get get an interview. T. T, thank you. Awesome. I love it. There are so many, there are so many people in here today that are in it to win it. Nope. I mean, seriously. 
and South Africa, please location. All right. And then people from South Africa. I know that there are. Thank you very much for joining from all over the world. Be prepared to come to New Jersey because we've been winning here and I'm next. Got to be in it to win it. New move. Yes. New Jersey. That was the place where the last major mega millions jackpot winner ticket was sold in March for 1.13 billion in New Jersey. So, Oh, look at this. Solesia, Zaya, loyal. So, Solesia, so, Solesia. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your name correctly, but thank you very much for becoming a member of this channel. Thank you for your support. It's a new feature that we just enabled two or three weeks ago that allows people to, or maybe a little bit more than two or three weeks, but not too long ago, that allows people to support this channel if you believe in what we're doing here and you believe in what you know this these lives the interviews the podcast interviews the videos and i'd greatly appreciate it because this is a labor from love this podcast everything i'm doing here and just your support means the world to me so thank you thank you thank you and by being a member of course you get access to behind the scenes content special emojis and so forth but most of all you get my un unwavering gratitude. So thank you very much. Blessings to you. Thank you. Cindy, hello in Los Angeles. Cindy, hello in Los Angeles. Hello in LA. Thank you for thank you for your comment. I can't wait to meet you after I win big. Well, I can't wait for that either. I definitely look forward to your videos and the discussions. Super love it. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. All right, so we got to get going here in just a second. C Colonel Angus is asking, Timothy, would you ask ChatGPT again by copy-paste the past results and then ask what the next lottery numbers would be and never mentioning the world lottery? Well, I can try that out. I've been contemplating the idea of producing another video about asking using artificial intelligence <laughs> to try to to see what it says about getting winning lottery numbers because i made a video last year about that and it was rather funny because it didn't want to tell me anything it didn't want to tell me anything so i enabled something called chat gpt diablo or devil mode and it just gave me all kinds of insults it called me all kinds of things but i finally got some numbers out of it but those numbers did not win. But it's a very funny video. If you have not watched it, check that out. And I may be producing another one. Thank you for the suggestion. I love that. Why hasn't anyone in Texas won? I don't know, Rafaela. I know people have won in Texas, but that's Texas is a really, really obviously one of the largest states in the United States. So it's been, did you buy a ticket? Maybe, maybe it could happen to you. Maybe it will. Anything's possible. Okay, Denver, definitely look forward to your videos and discussions. I really appreciate that. Denver, Colorado has the next jackpot power, Powerball winner, and it's me, Tyree Buckley. Awesome. In the Mile High City. The Mile High City is going to be bringing the next Powerball winner. We heard it here first. Awesome. Thank you so much for your comments. I wish you so much luck. And thanks for your support. Bunkers 2 in each city. What are we talking about? Bunkers in each city. I'll start a YouTube channel. When you win the lottery, is that what you're going You're going to start a YouTube channel? You don't need to win the lottery to start a YouTube channel. You could do it right now. But you can win the lottery and start a YouTube channel. That's totally possible too. In order to walk away with $1 billion after taxes, you'd have to win at least $4 billion, says Geralus869. Yeah. How much would you have? Is that correct? I have not done the math on this. How much would you have to win and take the lump sum and then get taxed and still have over a billion? What would the annuitized jackpot need to be? That is the question. I do not know the answer, but we should look into that. I, Fran, I think you're going to win big soon. Well, absolutely. Fran, I wish you so much luck. I wish there were more seven-figure levels on these lotteries. I've been practicing consistent manifestation and manifestation practices like the two-step 
two cup method. Also, I've been focusing more on feeling it rather than just wanting it. Kristen Klein. Thank you for your comment, Kristen. Yeah. When it comes to manifestation, I mean, they say that feeling, feeling uh, matters. It really, it really does the feeling of it. If you meditate about anything, visualize anything it's more than that it's the feeling it's putting yourself in there it's happening right now that in people that are into manifestation that's what they will they will they will tell you if you ever been one billion dollars winner have you ever been okay if you ever been one billion billion dollar winner in new york damon revis i think if you're asking have i interviewed or met someone that's a billion dollar winner in new york and I have not yet, but I have met people that have won massive prizes in New York. One person whose family won over a hundred million, another person won forty-five million, and of course, there's countless others in order that have won out the, in New York. In order to walk away with one billion, okay, we we got to that. And and South Carolina is here representing South Carolina's Andrea. Andrea, thank you so much. Three point five billion, Martin D. Well, it's 3.3, the Powerball, 3.3 billion as of this live, the last time I looked. Did it go up to 3.5? All right. I'm feeling it. Woo-hoo. Cindy is feeling it. Woo-hoo back to you, Cindy. Amazing. Edwin, won 966 million Australians, so only another half a million, and he would have hit it in Australia. That's interesting, Gary. Thank you for your comment. In order to walk away with $1 billion, you'd have to win four. Okay, we got to that. And a supercharged a supercharged chat like a cheer squad circling the world, calling in that abundance. I love that. And there's so many people from Australia here today too, which there is obviously a Powerball in Australia. It's a different, it's a different game, but there is a Powerball lottery in Australia. And I know many of you play that, so, which, is, which is awesome. Because we have people from all over the world here that play different lotteries. And it's so fun to meet and interview lottery winners from everywhere, from all over the world. And it does happen. Putting Tim on the spot. What's your favorite dad joke? Most important question of the chat. Probably not. <laughs> world Walker. Well, first of all, World Walker, thank you for the generous $5 super. That's amazing. That is super. Thank you very much. Favorite dad joke. That is that is putting me on the spot. I don't really know any dad jokes. Isn't that bad? I don't know any dad jokes. There's got to be dad jokes. There's oh, oh the only dad joke I know is like the dad bod. If you have if you go, you know, people are like, "Oh, you have a dad bod." What's a dad bod? A dad bod, you know? That's kind of funny. But uh I'm going to look that up. World Walker, I'm going to find some really funny dad jokes and I'm going to get back to you because you deserve a better answer than that for the $5 super. That's very generous of you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Everyone loves the lottery. AC469. We love we love you. Okay. Here, hello from Bakersfield, California. I already have my ticket for tomorrow's Powerball. Vera. Awesome. Well, welcome from Bakersfield. I'll tell you a window joke, but you would see right through it. That's terrible. That is terrible. I'd tell you a window joke, but you'd see right through it. All right. Next live, I'm going to come up with some, some jokes on here. Maybe some lottery themed jokes. Good luck to everyone. There's enough money for everyone to win. That's a good attitude. And there is really Tiona L. Everett. Oh, oh my gosh. Perfect joke right there. LOL. World Walker, thank you very much. Thank you very much. When is the next live? Somebody asked, can we get that? The next live, probably next week. Pro well, I know it's going to be next week. Absolutely. And I'm going to start trying to plan these ahead of time instead of being so impromptu so you guys can tune in and you know when they're happening. Oh, classic dad joke. Who's your... Who's your daddy and what does he do? There, Carol. Carol to grief. Well, the, Carol is the winner here. That's a good joke. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Who is your daddy and what does he do? I mean, yeah. 
That's I don't know what movie that's from, but Arnold Schwarzenegger. I love that. Thank you. I wanted the ocean to tell a joke to me, but it just waved. That's a good one. I don't know how we transitioned from the lottery into these jokes, but I'm I'm going with the flow here. This is the flow state. Diana G. When we okay, lottery post converts words and phrases to lottery numbers. It's fun. Okay. I've never done that. I'll check that out. I'll check that out. These lives make my Friday shifts at work go by much easier. Mike, Mike, you're watching this at work, Mike. Awesome. Well, Mike, I'm glad that it's making your, your day go easier. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. Hello, Jillian. Hello, Jillian. I am getting the jackpot of responses today. Woohoo! Gary Stinton. Amazing. Timothy is a goofball. What is happening, Neon the Phoenix? I thought we were like this. I thought we were like this. I'm just joking, though. I really appreciate Neon the Phoenix is a huge supporter of this channel. Kindergarten Cop. That's what the movie from Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mr. Schwarzenegger. And which reminds me, I interviewed Edwin, or not Edwin Castro, yet. Yet is the key word with that. I interviewed a lottery winner who... Um, won the lottery, he won a quarter of a million, donated all to help feed the homeless and became a, and is a renowned chef, Roberto Mendoza. And he's cooked for several presidents of the United States and celebrities. And one of those celebrities is Arnold Schwarzenegger. So if you have not watched that interview, check it out with Roberto Mendoza. It came out, it's one of the earlier interviews on this channel. Miss, show me the money with the generous 199 super. Thank you very much. Tim, you're awesome. I love your voice. Miss, show me the money. I love your name and and your sign name there. And I also really, really greatly appreciate your super and your support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Blessings to you. Thank you very much. I wish you good luck too. And uh, please bless. Please bless. Who's getting blessed here? Somebody's. Please bless us. Okay. Well, you're getting blessed, Rohit Gupa. Gupta. I'm not pronouncing that right, but bless you. Thank you for your support. Caught you live. These hard money loans are working out well. Paul Jensen. Paul Jensen is here. Hello. It's great. I'm so glad to hear that. It's great to see you. It's great to see you. And we we need to we need to catch up. We need to catch up. From Maryland, Powerball is whoa, 499 super. Amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. You are very generous. Thank you. From Maryland, Powerball is mine. It is written and it is done. I will donate and send tons to college. Get ready for my interview. AP. I love your energy. I love that. Maryland. I love seeing people win in the state of Maryland too. And it is I mean, it's totally possible. I wish you so much luck, and I love your plan. Thank you for your very generous super and for your thoughtful comments. I wish you so much luck. Thank you very much. I'm so proud of, oh, proud of Roberto Mendoza. I admire him a lot. I am from El Salvador, too. Diana, wow. Yes, Roberto Mendoza, the lottery winner who I interviewed that we were just talking about, was originally from El Salvador, and he actually was... So that's great that you are from there too. That's amazing. And he was, he was actually a kidnap victim and he ended up escaping that at some point or he was let go. And then he eventually immigrated to the United States. So he, it's really a crazy story, but he originally was in El Salvador, which is a beautiful place. And thank you so much for joining and for your comment. I had a dream of winning the lottery this past month, past month but I haven't won yet. Yet is the key word. Anything's possible. Thank you for your comment. Just play responsibly. Aaron Max, out of all the interviews you have done, do you have a favorite one? Aaron Max, thank you for your question. I get this question a lot, and I don't typically um, say I don't I don't have a I don't put that out there because that would put all the others down. I believe and love all of the interviews for different reasons. And that's such a political answer, but it's very, very true. And I have so many coming up that I'm excited to share with you with several, several new lottery winners 
coming on this channel, as well as a dream expert that's coming next. Also someone that made uh, millions on crypto, but he also is very much into manifestation. So watch for that for people that are into that. And which, yes, Claren and Nomi, absolutely. Who, thank you for being a member, by the way, Claren and Nomi. And so those are the interviews that are coming up. Also, Niles Malvasia, who is a Powerball winner, is going to return for a second interview. So watch for that coming soon as well. But thank you very much. I just picked up a Powerball ticket. If I win, I will try to spend it as fast as I can. <laughs> I'm old. Jimmy J. Wow. Well, hey, more power to you. You can do whatever you want with your winnings if you win the lottery. That's up to you. If you want to spin it as fast as you can, Jimmy, hey, we can. you can come on to this show and we can talk about it. Attorney or financial planner, which is more important, AC 469? That's a good question. And I suppose it depends on the scenario. But if I had to just choose one, I mean, typically you need both of them are very important, both of them. But if you have to choose one out of the two, I would say financial planner, because most people that win the lottery don't know what to do with um, that kind of money if they're not used to dealing with that. So a financial planner, I would say, is a smart idea. World Walker, I really like Talia's interview, especially how many people were before her for her apartment and she still got it. Like you have said many times, Tim, odds aren't really real. That's more going, there's more going on. World Walker, thank you for your thoughtful comment. I'm glad that you enjoyed that interview with Talia. She was inspired to manifest a lottery win from watching this channel. And then she won and she told us all about it. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. And yeah, when it comes to odds, I really don't believe in odds. Anything's pot. I mean, I believe they exist. One in for this Powerball drawing, this massive drawing tomorrow, 1.3 billion annuitized jackpot. The odds are one in 300 something million, I believe. So it's interesting. You have a better chance of being crushed by a or being killed by a vending machine, being struck by lightning, going down in an airplane, <laughs> all these things. But that doesn't mean anything. I never listen to the odds. I never do because... It, anything, it, I just don't think it's very healthy, first of all. And also, try telling a lottery winner that you can't win the lottery. You can. I don't believe in the odds. Just because people say you can't, I mean, you're crazy until it happens. It does happen. It happens to people. It's real. So you just have to play responsibly. But it is possible. I love the channel. Thank you, Skylar. Thank you for your support. And Cap Scratcher, how are you? I'm I'm amazing. I'm doing excellent on this this fantastic Friday. Thank you for your and we do gotta get going. Your heart heart is the most important compared to an attorney or financial planner. Love and light, Sam Johnson. Sam Johnson, thanks for your thoughtful comment. Thanks for your thoughtful comment. And I yeah, I love that. Positivity. Lucky people. That's right. Luck. What is luck? What is luck? Let me know your, your thoughts in this chat because that's one of the things we're exploring on this channel. I've interviewed scientists about it. And of course, several lottery winners. But what is luck? Because sometimes favorite movie that involves the lottery. Tanner. Tanner. Favorite movie that involves the lottery. Well, there's some comedies out there that are pretty funny. I don't know of any titles, but there are some out there. Who's the, there was a, what is that movie that just came out not too long ago with the guy from Breaking Bad that it was based on a real story with these people that cracked the system to win the lottery. It Margo and I need to look that up. I know you guys know what it is, but it was a very popular movie. And uh, it's based on a true story. It's very interesting. Luck is the right timing, aligning with the right energy. Social lion. Thank you for your comment. Attitude plus opportunity is luck. Fran Santelli. Thank you. Attitude plus opportunity. Yeah, I think, I mean, you can't win if you don't, as cliche as it sounds, if you don't play. You have to take the action, the action step of at least playing to have a chance. And if you believe that you 
have a chance then and you buy a ticket then you do have it i mean you literally do and my will creates luck neon the phoenix okay lottery lottery ticket is that the name of the the movie that we're talking oh jerry and margo yeah that's right mr joe 777 knows okay lucky i'd say divine guidance ismail divine guidance i believe in divine guidance what do you guys think i'm so into that stuff i really believe in divine guidance north carolina has the powerball jackpot winning ticket and is that someone by the name of laish holding that winning ticket that's the question that i would like to ask hello in melbourne sky hello hello and have you attempted to get a hold of the slot guru, Bernice? I have tried, Bernice, but I have not been successful with that yet. But we will keep our fingers crossed for that. Thank you for your question. I believe in divine guidance. Faithful Heartbeat believes in divine guidance. And Neon the Phoenix believes in guardians. Okay. Well, I do too. I believe in I believe in that sort of thing. I believe that we have guides and I believe in angels and that sort of thing is Jerry and Marga Marge go large. That's the name of the movie. Diana, Diana Puretis with the, with the win. So that is the name of the movie we were talking about. Okay. So I have said this many times, but I actually do need to get going and I love you all. Thank you very much for your support. If you are playing this massive $1.3 billion Powerball prize or any other lottery in the world, whether it's Euro Millions, Malate, Megasino, Lotto Max, Lotto 649, wherever you, or another one, I wish you so much luck. Thank you so much for being so supportive of this channel. I'm just overwhelmed by how supportive you guys are. And I'm, I'm just very, very grateful. So thank you very much. Uh, love you all. Remember, anything and everything is is absolutely possible. It is possible. Your life can, I mean, anything's possible. We have an eclipse coming next week. There is earthquakes today. We had this live stream video go out. <laughs> anything's possible. Play responsibly if you play the lottery, but that's always, that's possible too. And uh, good luck, everyone. We are all winners. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. Um, God bless you, Tim. Jimmy, God bless you as well. All right, take care, guys, and I will see you soon. So many interviews coming soon. I'm excited to share with you. Thank you for your support.